So As You Like It is a Shakespeare comedy and um, it's really cool because there's a lot of girl parts. So I'm Rosalind and this is Celia and we are cousins. And I am banished by the Duke, um, her father. And we escape into the forest and we like disguise ourselves and everything. And I disguise myself as a guy and she disguised herself as another girl. <laughs> and um, we run into this guy that I like named Orlando. So I am Orlando. And I trick him pretending to be still a guy. And I trick him pretending to be still a guy. Orlando is uh, a lord, he's the son of a very rich father, and his brother, um, Oliver, who's played by Garrett Dixon. Uh, my character is Oliver. Kind of the main character's brother, if you would, yeah, I guess that's you would say. Takes all of the money, all of the inheritance, and treats Orlando uh, like a peasant. A horrible guy. You, you wouldn't want to meet, know this guy in person. You know. he gets you with him, you old dog. And so Rosalind's really witty. She's really funny. Um, pretty crafty. What about Celia? Well, Celia, I guess, is kind of the Elle Woods of the story. She's gets all the guys, she's really into looking a certain way, and she kind of, I mean, tries to help Rosalind a, a little bit with her love life because she's so experienced. My character is basically the uh, lord of the hippies. Um, I have this sort of a commune tribe. Silvius is the love-struck character of the show. He's the one who catches the feelings for Phoebe, who is the jerk of the show is basically just down to earth and real and, and all the other characters make fun of him for it. He's ironically comedic to the show. But um, Silvius is klutz and he's stupid, he's not very smart, uh, he thinks he's pretty smart, he's a shepherd, he's very very poor, he doesn't make a lot of money. Audrey is like a country girl, she's a goat herder and she lives, she was born and raised in the forest. Um, and she's like a pretty simple girl. She really is like, she definitely values honesty over everything else. That touchstone like comes into the forest and just like falls in love with her. Student should definitely see this because the play, in my opinion, is really fun and goofy and it's not really it, it, it can't really put you to sleep. My mom said that Shakespeare could put you to sleep. No, this is this is way more fun. <laughs> I think that the story is really um, easier to follow than a lot of Shakespeare's plays, and it's funny. And I think that um, a lot of the actors do a really nice job of helping with their actions and the way they say things. You can easily understand what they mean and get the jokes too. All for your father. Some of it is for my child's father. <laughs> oh, how full of briars is this working day world! The way the plot flows and the character developments, it, it just doesn't seem like Shakespeare, and it definitely won't seem like Shakespeare with the hour 60s spin on it. I think one of the main things that probably, that should draw a big audience is that it is set in the 60s, and people think about Shakespeare as late 1500s, um, and having it be in such an accessible time period really allows the audience to relate to the characters more. It's really something that that people have experienced themselves. I think maybe in high school they might know what it's like to be in love or treated terrible by their older brother. He was my father. He is thrice the villain that says such a father begotten any villains. It's a good time. Um, you know, it's fun and light and comedy. And you know, if you think there's a joke, there, it's a joke. Um, come see as you like it because um, it's very funny and it's not a typical like Shakespeare show. It's kind of a little bit more weird. I think you should come totally come see it. I think it's definitely worth your while. <laughs>